Welcome back to another edition of Home Inspection Bites, where we take the high road to give you the high ground advantage in your home inspection career. Today we're going to be talking about multiple GFCIs on one circuit. We've even wired up a demonstration here for you. And the reason I wanted to do this was because a few months back, I was on Facebook. And I used to love going on Facebook and other social media and helping out other home inspectors. Until I started getting attacked by other home inspectors who said I was a moron. So I got off of it. You want to know more about what I think about social media for home inspectors? Check out our blog. Anyway, there was an electrician giving advice to home inspectors. He was telling home inspectors, multiple GFCIs on a circuit is perfectly okay, don't ever write it up. And I disagreed. And when I disagreed, that's when the trouble began. I started getting attacked by other home inspectors, I got attacked by the electrician, and accused of a whole bunch of things, and basically told I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, today, we're going to demonstrate exactly what I was talking about and why it is that we write this up. On this circuit, we have six outlets, three GFCIs and three regular. As you can see, our tester shows they're wired correctly for polarity and grounding. So let's say this one is the downstairs powder room, the second one is the upstairs hall bath, and the third GFCI is the upstairs master bath. When we're downstairs, we put our tester in the powder room outlet and test it. Everything goes dead, looks proper. Following protocol, we reset it and the outlets are live again. As we continue the inspection, we go upstairs to the second story hall bath. When we test that outlet, it trips no problem. Yet, it tripped downstairs and we didn't hear or see the outlet we're testing actually trip. As a result, we test it manually with the test button on the outlet and it trips, but now it won't reset. Okay, it probably tripped downstairs and we'll reset it later. Now we get to the master bathroom outlet and it's already dead and it isn't tripped and the button on our tester won't do anything. So we test it manually. Now the master bath, hall bath and powder room GFCIs are all tripped. These two won't reset until the first GFCI in the circuit is reset. In this case the downstairs powder room. In order to get them all reset you'll have to go downstairs, reset the powder room, then the upstairs hall bath and finally the master bath outlet in that order. Trip a non-GFCI outlet downstream, you can see the first outlet trips just as it's supposed to. And this may add to the confusion. If the home inspector can't get them all reset, possibly because the first outlet is in the garage behind a cabinet or a bunch of storage and it's inaccessible, he or she is likely to receive angry phone calls from sellers and buyers because some of the outlets don't work. That's what makes this a reportable deficiency. Sure, code doesn't say there can't be multiple GFCIs in a circuit, but the functionality is confusing, and this is not the way they're designed to be installed. The, that electrician on social media advising home inspectors not to write this up proves my point that you can't always trust a contractor to teach a home inspector what they need to know. Now these last two outlets show proper polarity and grounding, but when we try to test the GFCI, it doesn't trip. They're on the same circuit, so why won't they trip? Well, that's a topic we'll be discussing in another video. So, as you can see, it's okay, and it's actually kind of functional, to have multiple GFCIs on one circuit. The problem is, for the homeowner, it's a nuisance, and they may never be able to figure out exactly what the problem is or which outlet to reset first, second, and third when they've got it. That's why home inspectors should write up multiple GFCIs in a circuit and recommend they pare it down to just one per circuit, regardless of what the electrician says. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you're seeing on our website, hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel to stay up to date on important new videos.